Laura, your heart reading is alarming. Have you been skipping your medications? What are the readings? Your heart rate is consistently above 100 per beat and that's not good. And the BP readings? 220 over 110. It's really not healthy, I must say. Mm. This time you have to take your health more seriously. And in the meantime, I will prescribe some more drugs to help regularize your BP. And I will advise you and show you eat healthy. Get some more rest. If possible, you need 30 minutes of exercise at least three times per week. Thank you, Dr. Hello. Okay, if you will excuse me, I'll be on my way right now. Thank you so much, Dr. Karen. Please be safe. Sure, we just take care of yourself. Thank you. Marriage. Is this actually what you've made of me? You know, the loneliest moment in life is lying awake beside someone that is asleep. I don't think he knows how much he hurts me sometimes. For most you ignore me so loud. That is the feeling. The silence is so deep that it's echoing. My heart is so broken. Even though no one can see it, it burns each time I breathe. They say it will get better. But it seems I'm spending too much time beating on a wall, hoping it will transform into a door. Searching. Searching for healing at the feet of those who break me. My loudest scream has been silence. Yet you do not pay attention to my pain. <sighs> I hate not being happy. I hate the fact that my own husband doesn't care about my feelings. They say marriage should be deforming, should be comforting and fun. But God, I feel trapped. Good morning, Mom. Mom, oh. are you okay? Six five five, and Mommy is still in bed. No school lunch. Wow, my kids are already dressed for school. You guys are all grown up already. Okay, you know what? Just go downstairs. Mommy will be down shortly. Okay? We've had breakfast already. Wow, you have. Okay, just go down. Wait for me. I'll be, I'll, I'll be downstairs shortly. Okay, okay mommy. mommy. All right, bye. I'm coming. <laughs> mm. kept me awake all night. Eh? I wanted us to create some fantasy. <laughs> I was hard on. Oh my baby, I'm so sorry, okay? But not to worry. I'm entirely yours today. I know how you like me. Water and juicy. <laughs> No, stop it. You want to murder somebody, eh? Chee. <laughs> See, I miss you so much. Should I start coming? Ah, uh, uh, not so fast. Your body today hot. <laughs> Wait, oh, come to think of it. 
Is your wife not there to attend to your sexual needs? Mm. Mm. That one. Mm. What is there to even look at? Eh? Not any. Everywhere is just saggy. <laughs> From saggy butts to saggy everything. Eh? Look at my age. I need them young and fresh. Firm and tight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can say that again and again, baby. <sighs> baby, what about the money you promised me? I sent the three million yesterday now. Didn't you receive it? No, not that one. The 700k for my hair. Um, well, no, I will send it immediately after this call. Eh? I trust you. My Odogu, my sugar Zazi, one of one. That's why I cherish you so much. I love you so much, baby. <laughs> I love you too, baby. I will call you back. Okay. I forgot to oh, Mbano, your mommy will stand in for me. You hear? Yeah. Good morning, honey. And what is that nonsense you are wearing? Eh? What is that nonsense? I hope you are not planning on leaving this house half naked as, as you are dressed to. Ah, with, with colored hair. Makakine kwan. Do you realize you are married to a chief and a titled one at that? But chief, what's wrong with my dress? Will you shut up and go, go upstairs and, and, and change that nonsense? And remove that bed place from your head. It is natural weaving. That is what is acceptable. After all, that is what I meant when I came to marry you. Ah, look, 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 look at you. Eh? We phones and attachments are not allowed in this house. Daddy. Look, such stuff does not befit your mother. Eh? It doesn't suit her. She's a village woman. She's not. Will you keep quiet? how a decent woman should dress. Anybody who sees you outside now will know that you come from a decent home. Please, the khaki. Let me drop the kids on speed. I'm going for a, a, an important meeting. Use your own. But you drove the mine like two days ago. You've not brought it back. Uh, oh, yeah. So, you know, the, uh, the carburetor is finished. The engine block is dead. Oh, it's the mechanic. But Chief, when you drove in that car, it wasn't bad. So I am a liar. That's not what I said. How about the other car, the Corolla? Ah, the fuel pump died two weeks ago. So how do I take the keys to school if you will not if you not give me yours? Take them with public transport now. I should ah. take our kids in a public transport to school, Chief. Puerto, what is the big deal in taking the children to school with public transport, Laura? Eh? Are you better than uh, Azubike's wife who takes her children to school in Ikeke? Or Nandi's wife who does the same with her children? Eh? Puerto, if we did not have these cars parked in the compound, would the children not go to school? Ha! Eh? Come, Jukede. How many cars were parked in your father's house when I came to marry you? I want to know. Yes, sir. Let me help you. Uh -uh. What can I do? See, Laura. Come on, 
Pomo Sela that I, 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 I married, picked up and cleaned up, is now showing me levels. Hey! <laughs> there is nothing that Musa will not see at the gates. Hey, wait! I don't blame her. It is not your fault, oh. It is not your fault, Laura. After all, how do they even say it? Uh, um, potatoes with potatoes. <laughs> uh, we are here. Mechanic. What sort of stupid question is that? Are you out of your mind? Wait. Is this your car? Is this your car? I, I, are you stupid or something? And how dare you touch me with those infested fingers of yours? Are you not? Oh, this Aha! You're Iris. Hey, I've heard so much about you. You're Thomas's girlfriend. Now let me quickly introduce myself to you. I am Thomas's wife. He's legally traditionally and religiously married wife. The woman who we have sending peace away from her home. See, I don't know what you're talking about, okay? And what the hell is your husband? And what makes you think that your wretched husband can afford a person like me? I don't expect you to own up. And I'm not here to banter words with you, okay? Mm. I'm not here to banter words with you. And what's your point? Enjoy yourself. What point are no, you trying to make? I'm taking this car now. You will not dare. Ah, you will not I dare. You must be really mad. Not you must be stupid. You won't dare. You won't. What is bullshit? Just looking at me, let you drive me. I want to go to school. I want to take my on this bike. This job. Did all that to you? Oh, sorry, my baby. Sorry. Look, just hang on there. Eh? I will soon be with you. You know, no? Uh, I, I will call you back. Let me call you back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 come here. Where are you coming from? 
What does it look like? I say, where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? And where did you get the, the, the motor? From the mechanic. Which mechanic? The same mechanic you left the car with. That's why you're talking to me like that. Eh, Chief. Hey, give me the car key. Give me the car key. Chief, that is not happening. Now. I will not ask you again, but give me the car key. Chief, so I should give you the car key to return to your girlfriend while I jump back with my children. Chief, you prefer that rat over your kids? And what is the crime in dating, in dating Irish? Eh? What is the crime? Am I not entitled to more than one wife if I so decide? Eh? Look, you should hug and, and thank that girl whenever you see her for helping you take care of your husband. Instead, you went as far as fighting and beating up the, 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 the little innocent girl. Really? Oh, yes, really, Laura. Eh, uh, Laura. Really? Uh -uh. That girl you embarrassed compliments you. She even covers for you. If that girl hand you in bed, you will know that a girl handled you. Eh? Irish gives me 360. Do you know what 360 is? Uh, what do you even know about lovemaking? Do you know cow girl? Eh? What of Eiffel Tower? Do you know reverse cow girl? What of spooning? Do you know scissors style? What of leaping frog? Eh? Just the other day that I tried to raise your leg up, you started shouting, Thomas, muscle pull, muscle pull, muscle pull. Enough, chief! No, it's not enough. It is not enough. Let me tell you how horrible you are in bed. Uncle, you are me fool. Eh? I told you to give me a uh, 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 blowjob the other day. He nearly bite off my hand. You gave me a scar. Blowjob that I serves me as appetizer before the main dish. Eh? All you know is to lie down on top of the bed like a log of wood. What is that? Eh? Is that how to moan? What is... What is that? Is that how to moan? You bastard! How dare you! How dare you say this to me, Chief? You are falling what have I done to you? You are pushing me to the ground. I will die. I will stay here. Someone. I will not stand up from this place again. You don't know the enormity of the offense you have committed. You don't know. I will stay here. I will not stand up whoa, until I see one cow, 80 yams, the head is here. There must be one bottle of whiskey to accompany it. I would, you don't, a titled man. You don't know where you are. I will stay here until my case. Man, you, you think you can just push a titled man? Hey, baby. I'm Sorry, I'm sorry. Eh? Hey, you mean Laura could do such a thing? Honestly, eh? I've never been so humiliated in my life. Hey. <sighs> sorry, yeah? Sorry, Chief, let me tell you something. I have instructed the maker to buy the latest version of that motor for you. Eh? And I have um, uh, arranged a trip for you in Maldives. You know you need to pamper this thing now. Oh, uh, hey, baby. <laughs> Look, let me tell you something. I am sending you five million naira into your account uh, as apology to Kimi. Uh, baby. <laughs> Chief, thank you so much. Uh, well, but. But what again? If you need more money, in fact, let me even do it now so that uh, I am not to play you. No, 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 Chief. Hmm? Hey, what is it again? I want you to organize a dinner. Dinner? Yes. <laughs> so, so, dinner. I will 
will organize a dinner. Look, if you want a dinner in a seven-star hotel, I will organize a dinner in the seven-star hotel for 10 weeks if that is what your problem is. Let me call one of my friends Chief, who is no, a manager. No, that's not it. I want the dinner to be at your house. Eh? Mbano. Yeah, no now. What kind of thing? You are not supposed to be taking this thing too far now. Uh uh. Yeah. Chief, I don't like this thing you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. I don't understand you. I thought you said whatever I desire, you're going to give it to me. So why not? <laughs> Besides, you said your wife makes the best jollof rice. Hey, hmm? I said it. So it won't be bad if I have a taste of it now. Hmm? Chief, my daddy, <laughs> chief, chief, don't do like this now, it's just a dinner, nothing more. You have started to touch me there now, <laughs> you have started again. Now. My eh? baby daddy, I my one. Oh, don't go walking. Oh! Oh, my fat, oh, my fat. Come, baby, come. Oh. Baby, come. Oh. 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 oh my god, it's now Let's doing go. me one kind. Water and juicy. I was just there. like that. <laughs> Let's go. Laura. What am I seeing? Just look at how you're looking, Laura. Oh my god. This is unbelievable. You're looking so bad, guy. All in the name of marriage. Look at your hair. Look at the way you're your color. Everything has just faded. I don't understand you. Huh? Oh my God. You don't understand. What do you want me to do? Mister, I see. I think Chief is going to change. Thomas will change. I think it's a matter of time. Listen, I, I know Thomas has anger, anger issues, but he will change. I'm tired. I don't even know what to do. But I feel like he's going to change. You don't know what to do. At this point of your life, look at how you look at it. If I were you, the best thing I could do this time is just to go upstairs, pack my things, and leave. Yeah, for huh? good. Yeah. After two kids, I should pack my things and leave. Laura, come on. You're not the first. Who will train them? Hmm. Ha! Please, Amaka. No, it has nothing to do with you. I mean, what do you want people to say? That I left my marriage with two kids. I'm like, please, it's, just, it's not possible. I'm married, I'm married. You just want me to deal with it. It's, it's one of those things that come with marriage. Good. After two children, go away. Ha! Please, oh. What do you want me to do? I don't know, just. Ah. Well, if you say so. I say so. Yeah, I say I say so. And the so that I'm saying now is that you should get up and leave my house. <laughs> you are not ashamed of yourself. At 43, you are still single. But you are here playing the role of marriage counselor. Get up and leave my house. If I see you anywhere near my house or my wife again, you will see the bitter part of me. Come on, get up! Strong. What is your phone? Hmm? What is your phone? It's here, it's here. Bring that to her number. Delete it and block it. In fact, okay. block before deleting. Okay. Now. Okay. Okay. Delete it. Wait, which, which photo is that? Mother's picture. Did I marry your mother? Eh? Come on, delete that picture and put our married picture. Okay, let me do it. Sense. I, I, imagine. My friend, don't prepare me jollof rice. At least that is the only thing you know how to do well.
and Dr. Agade Kwenka coming here to do advice on marriage counselor. Ah, my dear, look at me. I'm going into a very beautiful woman, just like you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, my friend. <laughs> Do you know, at her age, she has achieved so much, and she's sought after. Oh. I'm telling you, you won't believe too that she's currently the face of Spice Girl magazine. <laughs> oh my goodness! She, I am so proud of you. Thank you, ma'am. Proud of you. Look at you. You're everything I want in a daughter. I'm, I'm being honest. Like, That's true. You're intelligent. You're beautiful. Then you're classy. Look at you. I'm sure my cousin will love you so much, okay? Yeah. Um, just do your magic. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Just that. <laughs> I shall do my best, mom. I trust you. I mean. <laughs> Who wouldn't fall for all this? Oh, yes, exactly. Girl. Come on. <laughs> Did you see that? Aww. Oh, she had. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. So beautiful. Oh, she was here. Oh, so man, the attack at city. Told you. <laughs> hey, lovely. How are you, sweetheart? Welcome, Madam T. Thank you. <laughs> Is there any Madam T you can see here? That's Faith. Say hi to Faith. Hi, Faith. <laughs> hi, handsome. Well, Faith here is a beautician now. She is both a face and a runway model. And guess what? She has both local and international endorsements. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> That's good for her. Uh, hold on, don't be in a hurry to run off. I'm sure Faith has some little things to discuss with you. About what? Uh, life, you know. Maybe pitch something to you. You people should really talk. I want okay. to know each other. I'm sure they'll get along. I mean, what was that for? I don't know. <laughs> Just uh, feeling like a fine boy. Ah, this is a fine boy. Ah, uh -uh. so <laughs> my in-law you're talking about. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, how, we, how is business generally? Yeah, business is fine, but with this dollar increase, uh, I don't know how one will survive in this country. Personally, I've given up on dollars. After all, I'm just going to Ah, you are giving up. <laughs> Then what about the dairy seller that will tell you that dollar is <laughs> No, no, I mean, do they need dollar to buy dairy? Oh, okay. Hello. 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 Ma'am, I'm very sorry. What happened? But you have to check your son properly. I'm done. Mom, let's go. What happened? Let's go. Mother, go. Please, I'll call you. It's okay. Uh, baby, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Baby! I'll call you. Okay. Young man, what happened? Why did she leave? Mom, please. I think she just realized that she's not good enough. What do you mean Let she's not go good enough? Madam Ketri Mayo's uh -huh. only daughter is not good enough. That girl comes from a very reputable and respected background. What are you talking about? Mom, see this one. I'll pass. Oh, well, not until you tell me the reason. Because this is basically like the seventh girl who's running off you. What is the meaning of this? Are you saying all these girls are not good enough for you? Mom, let's just say I'm different. Does that make you happy? No, it doesn't. Because it uh, feels like something is wrong with you. Are you sure you're... Are you okay? <laughs> Mom, there's nothing wrong with your son. Hmm? See, what my body needs now is hot chicken pepper soup. And not all of this drama. Thank you. No, hold on. Hold on. I am your mother. I need to be sure my son is okay. <sighs> are you okay? If you're not, just tell me. Mom. There's nothing wrong 
with your son. Okay, let's just say I like the chase and not the other way around. Uh, huh? Come on, look, don't be ridiculous. You uh, look at you. You were a handsome, young, wealthy man. How many women went through themselves at you? I mean, they, they would just be desperate around point, you. My point, mom. Exactly my point. I don't like them desperate. I don't like them throwing themselves at me. I love to do the chase. It, it kind of fascinates me. I don't me. know whatever game you think you're playing, but would it work? Look at you. They were, if you're every woman's dream. They would throw themselves at you. <sighs> okay, mom, see. I'm gonna make you a promise. Yeah? I'm gonna get you a Caribbean princess for a daughter-in-law. Mm -hmm. You know, with uh, a beauty, it's gonna shock the universe and you as well. Mm -hmm. and she's gonna have that, um, this, this, the curves, the shape, the long curly hair. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I found the kind of standard kind of girl. Yeah. No. Yeah. So. <laughs> huh. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, so when and how? When begins now. How? My business. Okay. Uh, I'll wait. Mom, um, where's the the key to the Camry you want to give into your uncle? Um, can I have it? Yeah, it's in the house. But what do you need a Camry for when you have exotic cars you can use? I love you, Mom. I love you too, but I still don't get it. Hi, Boma. I'm so sorry I couldn't meet up for your housewarming party today. The chief asked me to make a quick meal for him. He has his business associates coming in from Abuja today. So, seriously, I'm going to make up. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, please, let me up. They are here. I need, to get, I need to quickly freshen up. Welcome to my small, uh, my small house. <laughs> wow, mm. Chief. Mm? Your house is beautiful. Thank you. This is one of my small houses. You own this masterpiece. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 And when I ask you for five million naira, you cut it down to three. Hey, Biakwa. Chief, you have to upgrade me. Ah, uh, uh. Let us go inside first. Hey. Eh? Have I not been trying for you? Mm. That woman is just sitting on money. No wonder she doesn't want to leave. Mm. Ha! Oh. <laughs> and I do you well more than how. Have I not been appreciating you? <laughs> <laughs> you have, Chief. You have. Uh, after you, my dear. 
Here we are. Oh, Jukun Yellow. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. Food is ready, see. Eh? This way. Eh? See how she packed the food like uh, 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 we are laborers. Eh? Can't even serve salad properly by the side. Eh? Awaited jollof fries. <laughs> Even if the service is uh, local, <laughs> we'll manage it. <laughs> mm. Really tastes nice. Uh -huh. Don't do. <laughs> I have to go in and freshen up, so I can just come and... Oh, there she is. <laughs> Hi, Laura. We meet again. And just as your husband said, your food is really nice. Um, except for the unbalanced taste of salt, though. Can you help me with a pinch of salt, please? <laughs> Laura, your guest is making a request. I can't do this anymore. No, 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 no. So, sorry, did I, did I say anything wrong? No. <laughs> this is not salt you asked for. I wonder. Yeah. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Out of this compound. Don't come back, Wo. Lady. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Chief, please just let her leave. Hmm? Let her go. She's all used to you. I she will she will regret it. I know. <laughs> Read your food. Level. Uh -huh. Of course. Okay, 
Simon. Just drive. Hello, Mama. Laura, go back home. Your husband just called me now. How dare you leave your home for another woman? Eh? Mama, I'm tired. I understand, my daughter. Mama, I'm tired. I can't even breathe. Mama, my heart is aching. My heart is aching, Mama. I can't do this anymore. Mama, please. But you cannot leave your home. Thomas is your husband. Children are also involved. How do you intend to take care of them? Eh? Without the help of your husband. You have no chance here at all. You are now like a fairly used wife. A Mama second Thomas hand hits wife. Me. He strangles me, Mama. He cheats on me. He does everything to me, Mama. Please, I can't do this anymore, Mama. I'm tired. Help me, please. Please help me. You have to brace up and face your home only. It is your duty to face your home. Are you ready to face the stigma that comes with baby mama? Go back home, Laura. Go back and tolerate whatever it is. One day, you will be happy. That is what marriage is. Take me back. Sorry? You heard me take me back to where you got me from. I'll just do it with you. <laughs> take me back now! Babum. <laughs> Mm. So take care of yourself, yeah? I will. Go with the car. <laughs> Come back anytime you like with it. Okay. Yeah? Mm. <laughs> Are you sure we should not go back? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see who is at the gate. Why are you doing this now? Why are you doing this? Doing what? Eh? Did I not tell you that immediately you leave this compound, you should never come back? I meant it when I said it. What are you looking for here? Chief, what is wrong with you? You want to send me out of this house because of this slow... Ah! Chief, stop talking evil of her. You slapped me because of this slow... Ah! Oh yeah, out of my compound. You're a wicked man. I agree. Chief, you have no conscience. I agree. After all I've been through with you, Chief. Where is your conscience? Take please? this bag into your car and put her and go away from if my If you compound. dare touch that bag, I'm not going anywhere. Eh. Yes. Can you hear me? I said, move this bag from here. Chief! Please, Chief, let me go. Let me let me. Let me go. Let me leave me alone. My friend, who gave you the authority to 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 to, to interfere in my family affair? Eh? You. Oh. Oh, you see so you. you brought your boyfriend to fight me. You are the one you that has been you. giving her front oh, to, to no. challenge me. 
out of my before I say Jack Robinson, out, out of my company now. I don't want me to go to out of my company. I don't want me to go to. The one you can do this to me. I'm out of my sweat with you, Thomas. I'm not going anywhere. Out of my take this in out of my company. You take this to me. Oh God. Please, please. Take out of my company. Mom, please, please, please. Thomas, please. Come, come on, go. Is this a playhouse? Please, please. You please. can't open that gate for them. Please, please. Please. Chief, please. you. Me. I am calm. I am calm. It's not this. Just relax. This woman is stressing. Thank you. Did I leave? Did you leave? She left on her own. Oh. oh we are Thank God. Were you not here? Huh? Get out of my compound. Look at the boyfriend. See the way he looks. See sparks with empty pockets. <laughs> Shush. Go away. And you, if I see her anywhere near this compound again, your, your, your job is gone. Close that gate. Nonsense. Baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see what to go? <laughs> eh? Don't worry. No problem. No problem. I'll be back. <laughs> Have a nice day, yeah? Take care of yourself, Ungwa. <laughs> Ungwa, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll that gate again. You will not enter this house. Bam, 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 bam. You will not enter this house. I will not encourage divorce. Eh? Nee, what is wrong with you? What do you want people to say? Oh, you want my enemies to make mockery of me? Hey! No. You have to find a way and make peace with your husband. Go back home. Go back home! Mama. Go back home. Mama, be cool. Let me just come inside, please. Uh, I don't, Mama. Please, we will talk about this thing later, Biko. Come I'm inside. I'm tired. <sighs> Enter this house. This house that Chief, your husband, is paying the rent. Eh? Yeah. Hey, Mama. You think I'm joking, Mama? You think I'm joking ah. when I said you would not enter this house? Ah. Eh? Wait, oh. You really want to leave your wealthy husband and come and stay sofa here? With me and your two children. When you marry here, hey, mama, yeah. Oh, don't you know that your husband is a hot cake? Hey, Maro, prayer point, oh, mama, mama, ya kije we. That rich, handsome, and generous man. That's what you want to play with. Ne. Ne. Please go back to your house. Mama. Go back home. Okay, Mama. Okay, just allow me. Let me just come in. Okay, later we'll talk about it. I've heard everything you said. Let me just rest. Be cool. No. Come oh, in. Name. Enter where? The house now. If I allow you to enter into this house and Chief hears it, he will get angry. Mama. Yes. Ekwa. Marriage is for better, for worse. Whatever you see in it, to relate it, that is what marriage is. Yes, Mama. Even if Chief decides to marry five more wives added to you, ne, accommodate them, enjoy it. You know what? As long as he's taking care of you and your children, you know what? Mama. Mm. So, Mama, but I'm disappointed. So you prefer chief? You choose chief over your own daughter? Because of money, mama? Hey! Mama, don't worry. You will not let me in that way. You prefer chief more than your daughter? No, if that is how you no see problem, it, mama. let it be. Uh, no, I will go. If that is how you see it, let go. it be. Thank you, ma. Uh, let it be. I cannot, me and Kiru, I will not support any form of divorce. Eh? No mother want to see her daughter divorce. Oh. You want to come and settle here as a divorcee? As a second-hand wife? Yeah. Which responsible man will come and marry a second-hand wife? It's only this useless and jobless village man that can settle for that. Go and marry your rich husband and enjoy it. 
She about this commander. Drive. I'm sorry, um, which way are we headed, Mom? Just take me back home. What? Ah. <laughs> like I should take you back to that bully. I know it's none of my business here, yeah, but um, you can't possibly go back to the house. I literally watched him drag you out of the house like, you know, a common thief out of the matrimony at home. Don't you have um, any relatives around? Somewhere I can take you? No, no, around for now. <sighs> okay, how about you check into a hotel? Probably just relax, clear your head for a few days to see if you would reach out to something. <sighs> I know you're bothered about the children, Mom. But trust me, they'll survive. How old are they? Seven and five. Mom, they'll survive. Um, if you don't mind, I have um, an uncle. He has a hotel down the road. He's out of the country with his family. Uh, I don't know. If you don't mind, I could take you there so you could just stay there for a while to clear your head. That's if you don't mind. I he's don't see that. Big, he's not big of justice. Well, I don't know you. I'm just. I don't know you. I'm just being human, mom. After I, I, all I saw you. I just gone through. I just thought I should. Um, the little way I can help. No, no malice, no evil intention. At times, no evil intentions. So, if you don't mind, I could just take you there, ma'am. So, um, please, just call if you need anything. And please, make sure you get enough rest. Hmm? Thank you. All right. Hey. Thank you. You're welcome, Ma. I'm Laura. Wow, Laura. Yeah. Such a nice name. I'm Kosi. Kosi Sochuku will be. Okay. It's a pleasure meeting you. Same here.
Chief, you have to listen to me. You have to listen to me. Just stop ignoring me. Why are you so desperate, you this woman? He said he's done with you now. What part of that do you not understand? Just go away. Leave us alone. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Go away. <laughs> you know one thing about karma? It will surely vindicate me. But I pray it comes back and hits you hard and the likes of you that goes about destroying people's home. You will be lonely, this girl. You will, be, you will cry and you'll be lonely. Mm. But don't worry. Enjoy mm. it while it lasts. Mm. But while at it, don't forget, there are hotter babes preparing to resume your position. Oh, you see you. I will put you to shame. You dirty fat fool. You've lost the battle already now. So just cover your face in mm -hmm. shame and get out of here. You're just creating your own storm. But don't cry when it comes raining. Because one thing I know for sure, a boomerang will always come back to that person that threw it. Oh, shut up. Okay. You're just babbling. I know what your problem is. You're pained. Because I, I took what you failed to handle with care. I never pampered it, fed it with nutritious food, balanced diet. So just get over it. Hmm? Chief is mine now. And very, very soon, your children will call me mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Empty fool. Like you have any other thing to offer rather than sex. Mm -hmm. But sooner or later, you will sit at the banquet of your own consequences. And you, you will cry me a river. Oh, please. You will cry me a river, this girl. Hey, hey, enough. Enough. Leave now. Chief, I'm not leaving any without my children. Which children? Which children? Did you come to this house with any children? I wonder. Let me tell you. The only reason why I allowed you to stay here and waste my time is because I wanted my baby to come and give you her peace of mind. <laughs> now, out. <laughs> You're asking me to leave? Yes. Chief, you're asking me to leave. I say leave. Leave now. Uh-uh. Oh, wow. No problem. I'll leave. I should leave. You ask me to leave. After going under the knife twice to bed those kids. The same kids you want to deprive me of. At 36, I'm hypertensive because of you. I treated several STDs that you infected me with. You killed my self-esteem, Thomas. You ruined me. Because of a slut. Because of this witch. It will not be well for her. Are you going to stand here? It will not be well for this girl. Are you going to stand here? Chief, I'm not going to. Take your hands off me. Take your hands off me. Take your hands off me. Um, well, she's able for now. But please, she, she needs to refrain from a form of stress. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, Doctor. Okay. I'll, um, I'll see to that. Uh, oh, thank great. you. Um, I beg to take my leave now, but I will see her soon. Okay. All right. Okay, thank that's you. good. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I beg to take my leave. Yeah. Hey. How are you? Where are my children? You'll see your kids. But first, you need to get better. You need to be alive for them. And see, when you get better, I have a very hot gist for you. <laughs> Tell me about it. When you get better. <laughs> Hmm? Well, thank you. Seriously. For what? For everything. You're far too kind. Mm. Thank you. <clears throat> Don't worry. You're welcome. Mm? Just get better.
Okay. Why are you here? And why did you wear such cheap footwear into my sitting room? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know. You didn't know what? That you're not supposed to come in with it or that they are cheap? Both, sir. Mm -hmm. So why are you here? Please, sir. I want you to forgive your wife. At least, if not for anything, for the sake of the children. We kill because of shame. And we bury because of smell. Hmm. Anukube. <laughs> I can see that you are an upcoming orator. But let me advise you. Before you start wasting the small, small cobo cobo that you're making, that's your taxi business, to take care of her. That woman, Laura, she is an ungrateful and materialistic woman. She will turn back and bite you the way she did to me. But I don't have a problem. You can, you can take her. I dash you. I'm sorry, sir. Get out of my house. But please, sir. Uh... Look to your left. What do you see? Door, sir. Use it. <sighs> All right, sir. Thank you very much, sir. So, I demand total refund of the bride price paid, including the money I wasted on her education. That is her university degree. Totally, I will three million six hundred and thirty-seven thousand. 540 naira, 54 kobo, including bank charges. Hmm. Um, Thomas, we are a bit surprised to hear all this that you are saying about our daughter. Because in Kiru here, brought her up very well. Exactly. I mean very well. Exactly. And nevertheless, I want to ask you this question. Yes. Are you really serious that you want to divorce our daughter? Are you serious? <laughs> um, <clears throat> Chief, I think the best thing to do after hearing from you is to give us opportunity to hear from our daughter. Mm -hmm. We have to hear from our daughter yes. so that we can now reconvene and give you the response accordingly. But meanwhile, please, while we wait, is our appeal that you find a place in your heart to forgive her. Please. Because, you know. Because this amount, over 3 million naira, where do hmm. we get it from? I don't know if my kinsmen will be able to provide it. <laughs> hey, um, Okogo, my in-law, my special in-law. I am pleading on her behalf. Biko, forgive her. She is still young at heart. Eh? I will personally caution her and bring her to apologize to you. Biko. Have mercy, Bikuru. Hmm? Look, look. My decision on this matter is final. Mm. I know they do again. Mm. Ah. 
Your daughter deceived me into thinking that uh, she is a timid village girl. Deceive? Not knowing that she, she was waiting to manifest into her true self as the, 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 the white vulture that she is. Laura. Mm. <clears throat> Laura. Thomas. Um, like I said, you still have to give us time to talk with our daughter first. Okay, mm -hmm. I think we have to go. Yeah. We should start going. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Let's go. My in law. Yeah, go. Please consider our yeah. our plea. Let's go. go. Let's be going. Let's just go. Yeah. Okay. My in law. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Please consider our plea, Biko. Oh? Okay. I'm coming. I'm my in-law. We are going, you know. Hey. My in-law. Hey. Mm. This is a serious matter. Daddy, Daddy, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Daddy, wh why did mommy leave? Um, your mother is not a good woman. Just forget about her. I won't, Daddy. And she already said that she ran away with a strange man. Is that true? <sighs> Sit down. Listen, your mother is a disgrace. She abandoned you and your sister and ran away with another man. That is why Auntie Irish is here to take care of you and your sister. Eh? So you should learn to respect her and love her. You know now? Uh -huh. So... Go and play with your sister, okay? Good boy.
Stop it. Are you for real? Okay. Okay. Well, let's get to the normal you find out. Let's get to you find out. Relax now. Okay. I'm coming. What is it? Is everything okay? It's true. He's even serious about the bridal refund. So what do you want? I don't know. Honestly. Laura, you need to know the drive behind this your fight. Is it money? Love? Or companionship. I just want to survive. You know, I think I need to see my mom now. <laughs> Hello? Mama, don't worry, don't worry, I'm coming here now. Boy, throw everything outside. No, no, my in-law, you cannot do this. I you... told you, but you did not listen. Hey, my in-law. Yeah, my special in-law. Oh, God. Special. You Keep can... your in-law to yourself, Wu. Please, man. You cannot, you cannot send me out. I am your wife's mother. Save yeah? your tears and your, your cry. It will not work. Hey. <laughs> Since you people have refused to refund the money that I wasted on your daughter's head while training her in university, and even the bright price refund, you will pack out of this house today. No Nothing will save you. Chief, my end of Biko, eh? Biko, please, hmm. please look at me. I'm on my knees. Biko, Biko, no, my end of Biko. Please, 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 my end You cannot send me and my daughter out. You can, if you send me out, what will I do? I don't eh? care. Where will I go to? Eh? How, how, what do you want us to do? Bring it, quick, quick. 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 Biko, no. People should keep this thing now. Keep Everything it. out. Keep it. Oh, Loretta. Loretta will not kill me. Hey, Chief. Chief. Chief, be Why are you on your knees? Eh? Loretta, look at what your stubbornness has brought me. Look at what your stubbornness has brought me. Look at our Lord outside. Look at what your stubbornness has brought me. Neither, 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 how much is the money that is making you treat people like this? My mother. And you are still talking. If you do not leave here now, I will send my boys to beat you to nonsense. And I will lock you up after that. You still haven't told me how much the money is. Let me tell you. Even if you sell that your taxi, it will not be able to pay over 3.6 million naira. Hey! People should stop now. Eh? Look at this one. Oh, I stop. Oh, no, 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 See, if I put it and the money is not complete, you will not live here in one piece of Will you drop that in there? Hey, come here! My friend, keep my mud! I live there, just don't worry, let's go. Bring my slippers, let us be going. Laura. 
I believe you almost said it's can we go out for dinner. What no. are you not telling me? How a cabby was able to pay 10 million naira with ease. How? Lawrence, please calm down. Calm down. Kosi, you don't know the consequences of your actions. Listen, by my tradition, the most eldest of my family is supposed to make that refund. Or someone who has the intention of getting married to me. Which you did? We automatically have a wife. What? Uh, you sin. Uh, see. Laura. I'm sorry, I guess I I overreacted, but I couldn't just, you know, sit back and watch the humiliation he made it out on you and your mother wanna know I could do something about it. He did too much, you know. Pussy, you don't get it. You just paid my diary. Listen, as it is right now, unless there is a redeemer, someone who wants to marry me or who pays you back, if not you and I automatically husband and wife. And? And? Really? I'm still waiting for the, the scary part in all of this. Come on, because this is not even a joke. This is not a joke. Well, come, see, see, see. Okay, now look at it this way. You are going to be seen as Mrs. Kosi Sochuku will be. How about that? Does this look like a joke? Okay. Ah, calm down. No, you can't just panic over on essential things. Calm down now. Uh, take it easy. You don't get it. Hey, God. No. Ah, calm down. Stop! No, 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 no. You just again, you just, you just want to blow everything out of proportion. Can't you just have a joke again? Ah. This is not even a joke. Wow. So you're the only child of Madame Gold? That's scary. Who doesn't know your mother? She's a tigress. Forget what you hear. She's not that bad. You get to meet her someday. Getting involved with you is not even safe. I'm scared. She doesn't bite. Mm. Oh. I thought you had dreams of becoming um, a successful counselor. I can make that happen. You know. Just let me show you the other side of life. Please. So what's your interest? Your happiness. Good friendship. And nothing more. For now. I'm scared. Don't be scared. I'll protect you. I promise. So, friends? <laughs> maybe. Ah, maybe it's not an answer now. You like just here and there. Just still, yes. Well, I'm still scared. <sighs> Just say yes now. You will not die. Mm. Just, maybe. Maybe it's not an answer. You're just leaving me there. Maybe. Please say yes. Okay, Jai. yes. Huh? Ah, come on, you <laughs> die now. <laughs> oh, because <it's> stop. <laughs> ah, friends, it's good. So. Whatever. Ah, whatever. Mm. It's fine. Ah, ah. How can this man. <laughs> That vlog will not kill me. Can you imagine? Eh? Hmm. Let's count yourself. <laughs> okay, what's it now? Uh -oh. Chief, what's the matter? 
You look like an envelope without an address on it. I'm finished. I made a big mistake of demanding for the refund of the bride price and the money spent during delivery of our children. Now, I have lost the children to Laura. Eh? According to the court verdict. <laughs> Do you want to kill yourself because of those useless kids? Eh? Look, I will not have you call my, my, my children useless. Ah, what is that? In fact, you are even to blame for it. Because you were the one who advised me to demand for the full money so that it can frustrate Laura. Eh? Now the tables have, have, have turned against me. Uh, speaking of refund, if that boy could offer you 10 million naira, why not play the money game with him? Double the money, chief. You're equal to the task. I know you're capable. kind of money and connection I sense around that boy. But, you know, they can just spring a surprise on me. I beg, I, I, I can't risk it. <sighs> me, I don't even know why you're bothered. Hmm? Besides, let her raise the kids for you. After all, all kids return to your father in the future. So, I should sit and watch another man bring up my children <sighs> eh? while I'm still alive. Oh, my man. I will never let that happen. <laughs> if you like kill yourself for children, you're not even sure why yours. Eh, Chief? Did you even do a DNA test? <laughs> just, just getting worked up over nothing. But come to think of it, Chief could be right. Because even after all the money he paid Barrister Bassi, he still lost his kids to Laura. Hmm. There must be really something about that boy. Hmm. Ah. But don't kill yourself, oh. Don't kill yourself. Hmm? <laughs> At least we'll try Barista eh? Ikpama. <laughs> I'm sure that one will work. Eh? <laughs> oh. Kids, 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 my kids, this my kids, that. Children. Those just tiny little things causing problem everywhere. Just for making noise. Okay, let's go inside. How are you still saying? Wow. I'm here to get a good Can I help you with that? All right. Just wait, wait. <laughs> Chief. <laughs> Don't worry. Hmm? Let her go, okay? 
We're happy together. We are happy together. Hmm? <laughs> Daddy. Yeah. Your baby, your sugar. <laughs> As for children, I will give you children. Yes. Beautiful kids. Ejima? Hmm? Yes. Do you want Ejima? <laughs> Let her go. You don't need her. Hmm? She's nothing. Nothing at all. Chief. <laughs> I will give you kids. Children. Ejima? I know you like Ejima. She didn't give you Ejima now. For me, what I don't know. I mean, let them go. Don't even worry about the kids. Hmm? If it's about children, I will, I will give you sweet children. Ejima? Twins! Did she, did she give her to twins? No, I'll give you twins. Yeah. I'm sure you will like it. And they will, they will, they will have my resemblance. And yours too. Hmm? Because that one, the way, with the shape of his head. Look at you now. And look at him. You're beautiful, you know, right? You've said that like five times. Thank you. Yeah, I know. You know what? I'm so proud of you. You're one of the biggest marriage counselors I'm seeing so at the moment. In just a couple of years, I'm super proud. <laughs> Thank you. Honestly, pussy. All this wouldn't have been possible without you. You gave me back my life. You've made me achieve so much that I couldn't I couldn't believe I could. Thank you. My children and I are happy today because of you. We will be grateful to you for the rest of our life. They are my kids. What yeah. you expect. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Um Jada said you promised to get her a toy. And Jaden said um, you also... I love you. Hmm? You heard me, Laura. What are you saying? 
No, ma. I love you. <laughs> Let's not do this right now, please. I love you insane. I love you madly. I can't imagine my life without you. It's empty, void, clean. Let's not do this, please. Laura, please. Don't tell me I'm asking for something that will never happen. I'm scared. I don't even know what to say right now. I don't know what to say, honestly. How? What do you mean? Because see, you and I are like, we're like worlds of parts. We're like two sides of a coin. I mean, what do you want people to say? Your age? You're 29 and I'm 40. Come on. Who oh, yes. Come on. Does it matter? Who cares about the age? What matters here is that I love you, Laura. You mean the word to me. Our life is not supposed to mean anything to people but us. It's our story. Laura, please. Please, I love you. Laura, please. No, this is a joke. Please. Please, Laura. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Let's hear be merry. <laughs> For I have found me a bride. What? The one woman that truly completes me. Oh, son. <laughs> Come on, tell your mother about it. Who is this girl that brings out this sparkle on your face? I'm in love, Mom. And the feeling is special. I know. The thought of her just clouds my entire existence. Wow! Who is this girl? I've never seen this man come out of your eyes before. Mm. I mean, where, where, where is she from? What race? I mean, is she is she Ethiopian? Is she Saudi? Is she Indian? Is she from the Caribbean? I mean, she must be a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> you meet us, mom. Just make preparations and, you know, all of those little things, you know, mm -hmm. here and there. Okay, talking about preparation, how about you want to do? I mean, I can invite people. I can invite my friends, uh, especially my best friend, the governor's wife. I have to tell her that th this this meeting should speak exquisite and royalty. I mean, men and women with class and integrity should. He has to be beautiful. Not yet, mom. He has to be you, myself, and Laura. My name is Laura. Yeah. Such beautiful name. Yeah, yeah. She must be adorable. Oh, I can't wait to meet her. I can't wait. <gasps> <laughs> oh, congratulations, Thanks, my mom. darling. Oh my goodness. I, I can't wait for her to join us in this big house that will have kids running around, grandchildren, mm -hmm. breaking things. I mom, mean, mom, she just come. It's it's too fast now. It's one step at a time. Okay, I'm sorry. Eh? I'm sorry. I'm super excited, but um, okay. Let me share it very quickly. Ah uh ah. -uh. <laughs> now now. <laughs> Baby. Yes, my honey. I really want. Uh -huh. Please uh, fix me something to eat. I am very famished. Oh, that I. I couldn't make food. I had a massage at the spa earlier today, and I got really tired. You couldn't make food because you did massage. What kind of talk is that? Jeez. I'll be 
downstairs. I Iris, I am talking to you. Ha! What is it, Seth? Why are you raising your voice at me? Why are you making a big deal out of nothing? Besides, did you bring me here to become your slave? You drove past all the good restaurants in town without getting yourself food and then you come here to blab. Am I the person you are talking to like that? <laughs> Why won't I? No, 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 no. Who are you that I cannot talk to? God? Thomas, I will talk to you however way I deem fit. Wait, you think I'm Laura? <laughs> you must be really joking. Mm -hmm. So this is who you truly are. <laughs> you deceived me into marrying you. Eh? With fake life. Hey? Fake boobs. Fake bonbon. Fake eyelashes. A fake lipstick. A fake everything. It will not have a snake. That is what you are. Me. I pity the woman that raised you. Hey! <laughs> Look at this useless man. You think you can intimidate me like you did your ex-wife, Laura? Thomas, you lie! Because I, Irish, I refuse to be boxed into enslavement. Rubbish. Oh. Hey, sweetheart! Oh my goodness! Oh, oh. hello, ma'am! Wow! Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It must be her mother. Where is she? Uh, oh, that's, um, that's that's Laura. Laura, sorry. that's my mom. Good afternoon, ma'am. Just leave, you know. Shh, shh, shh. Calm down. That's my calm down. My mom can be a bit, um, you know. But don't worry, she'll come around. Are you sure? That's my mom we're talking about. Relax now. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Relax. That's my mom. Relax. Hmm? Okay. You're beautiful.
How old are you? Ma? Ma? Don't you know how old you are? I need her to answer the question. 40. Do you have any idea that my son is 29? Oh, stop. We need to talk now. You done? Is that a joke? Cause it's such a problem. I ask you again. Is that a joke? You mean you brought this thing to me as your wife to be? Are you crazy? She's forty year old and single. That doesn't bother you. <sighs> she had two beautiful kids from her previous marriage, but that's all in the past now. You dare bring a divorcee to my presence oh, as my daughter-in-law to be? What level of madness is this? Because it's such a Listen very carefully. I don't know the kind of game you're playing, but you sure don't want to play with your mother. So go in there and make her disappear before I do something really crazy. With all due respect, Mom. See that woman there? She is my life. And you don't have a right to choose who I spend the rest of my life with. And there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, sweetheart. Mom! Mom! You! Get out of my house. Mom. Get out now! Listen! You're forbidden to come anywhere close to my son. Look at him! He's a golden boy. And he should only associate with wealth and affluence. Not some, some, some divorced, poor mother of two. Have you lost your mind? Now get the hell out of my house. Wait. Before I feel it to my gloves. Hey, 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 wait. Can't I be happy, mom? Can't I? Mom. Laura. Is the one I've chosen. She makes me happy. So just let it go. You see that? You see what you cost? For the first time, my son is yelling at me. Listen, if you think you'll ever be with this, this human being, <sighs> I'm joking. It will be over my dead body. Get out! While you associate Laura. my son. Laura! Get out! Join her! Get out of my house!
Laura. Where are you going? Young man. Please, my chief, you have to handle this with wisdom. Maybe both of you can opt for adoption. Mm. Yes, chief. <laughs> Doctor. So you call living with my fellow man wisdom? You yourself confirmed that Mr. Irish has no womb. Oh, yes, Mr. Ahembore. It's my fellow man. Do you know what that means? I'm sorry, my chief. If you will excuse me, I have to be on my way. Thank you.
Who's there? Oh. I'm coming. Ah, ah, Mama. Hey! <laughs> See, Mama. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh, my little Mama. Hey. You're welcome. Thank you. Ah, ah. Hey. Ah, ah. How are you? Hmm. Hey. Hey. I have not uh, heard from you in a while. And I decided to come and uh, see how you are doing. Mama, see how you're looking so fresh. Eh? Eh? Nedal. I'm happy. How are you? Fine, thank you, Mama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you alright? I'm fine. Are you I'm sure? I'm fine. Eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well. I've not heard from you for in a while. So I decided to come and check on you. I know how you are doing. Thank you. Yeah? <laughs> hey. Thank you, Baba. You're looking so fine. Ah uh ah. -uh. <laughs> Guess what? Very soon I will be visiting in my car. Eh? Mama, really? Eh? Kosi sent me some money yesterday morning. And he promised he's going to buy me a car. Yeah. A car. <laughs> and the driver. Very soon. Nenum. <laughs> Nenum. Hey. Nenum. The village will hear. Nenum. <laughs> How did you know? They are going to hear it. They will hear what? Because I will be sitting at the back of the car. Mm -hmm. And the driver will be carried uh -huh. everywhere around the village. <laughs> ah, mama. They will hear it. Hey, they will hear it too. They will see me. <laughs> By the way, where are my grandchildren? Okay, we've gone to school, they're not back. Eh. Yes. Hey. Oh, oh. But wait, so Mama. Eh. So if Kosi gives you money, you collect it. Eh. If he gives me, I will throw it away. Look at hey, Mama. <laughs> eh? Mama. Who, who does not like good thing? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Eh? Well, when you don't change, you know. Look at this girl. Oh. <laughs> hey. Talking uh, about him, where is he? Who? Kosi. Oh, he traveled. He traveled. He'll be back next week. Yeah. Uh, he traveled. Uh, Let me check. Who is that? Come. Who is that? <laughs> okay, he's a, he's a security. Uh, somebody is staying up here. Mama is a security man. Uh, let me go and see. Mama, I'm, I'm hearing somebody is knocking. Wait, let me know why. Ah, the security man is he not a human being? <sighs> oh. Oh, my chin, Hey, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome, my son. Welcome. Welcome. Hey. Hmm. How? How is everything? I want to thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. I want to say thank you for all that you are doing for me and my family. It's, it's fine. Uh, they okay. really appreciate it. It's yeah? fine. Uh, yeah. It's fine with you as well. It's like I will go inside mm -hmm. so that both of you can talk. Yeah? No problem. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Kosi, how is your mother? Ah, she's doing great. I would um, extend your greetings. Very important. Please do. Mm -hmm. Hey, no. Uh, one. Hey. Mm. 
Why have you been avoiding my calls? I don't want you in a shop today. Laura, please. You should have been doing this, not now. Listen, Kosi. You should listen to your mother. Every mother wants the best for their children. See, my life, your life will be perfect without me. Laura, my life is useless without you. From the moment you drop that ring, It's so painful that you underwent the feelings I have for you, and it really, really hurts. You heard everything your mother said to me. You heard all the demeaning things she said to me. She called me old. She called me fat. She called me all the negative things. You stood there and you watched her. <laughs> she made it clear to me that life with you is impossible. And that will be over her dead body. Laura, I know my mom said all of those things, and even more. But please, please help me out of this misery. I don't care about what my mother says or what she thinks. All I know is that I am madly in love with you. It's you that I need and no one else. Just help me fight. Join me in this fight. And I'm sure that our love will prevail. How do you intend to do that? I'll fight the universe for you. But the question is, will you be by my side? Please, 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 please. Babe, hmm? you're looking good. <laughs> Don't worry now, when I go to Dubai, I will change your wardrobe. You know what I can do? I don't talk what I, I cannot do. Oh, you look, you look, you look sexy. Eh? And I will not forget what you did to me last night. <laughs> eh? You are too much. I will change our wardrobe. You know what? You know that I will make way, man. <laughs> I don't say what I cannot do. Eh? Oh, yeah. I am the one talking, face me. I'm the owner of my house. <laughs> See, don't spoil my phone, no. Have <laughs> Oh. I see they paid them. They got the sweet us. <laughs> yes, baby. Oh, no, no. Um. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Okay. So when we see again, you will tell me all about it. A year ago, I was in a position. Hold on. You basically worshipped me, treated me like an egg. And now you turn around to treat me with so much disgust. Thomas, you don't even look at me. It's as though I irritate you. It was calm. You're not even what I want right now. And the earlier you realize it and leave, the better for you. Oh, I see! Do you think I'm Laura that you can use and discard just like that? <laughs> you lie! Okay? You lie! And don't push me. Don't push me into unleashing the demons in me. Because you wouldn't like me. I bet you, you would not like me! <laughs> the demon. Aha, uh -huh, baby. No, I don't mind them. 
<laughs> they will leave. When she tired, she will go. And you will come. Finally, my friend is happy again, <laughs> living in this luxury. <sighs> Honestly, the whole stuff is like a miracle. Like, this guy is so nice. He respects me. He pampers me. He treats me like a pair. He won't even let me lift a finger. Really? really? Yeah. Ah, maybe you're lucky. <laughs> Shame to that stupid Thomas of yours that almost ruined you. <laughs> Old story. How have you been? Babe. Hi, dear. Hi. Hi, babe. <laughs> How are you? Fine. <laughs> so, meet my friend, Amaka. Amaka, here's Kusi. Hi. How are you, Amaka? I'm fine. It's a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure is all mine. I heard so much good things about you. Oh, <laughs> The pleasure is all mine. Uh, well. Allow me fresh now. Oh, that's why. I'll see you girls later. Huh? Hey. This guy is cute. I told you. You like him. This is an angel, you know, my friend. Well, wow. I'm not doing bad myself. Come I on. I can see. I've been wow. joke. So how far now? That's what you told me about. Oh, my dear. Into my own house. Oh, please stop this nonsense. Let this be the last time you call me mommy. Am I older than you are? Look at you, an old lady, feeling funky. Oh, please, let me, let me get you something to do. Sit down, busy body. Need I remind you that this is my house and I know my way around? Let me get you something. Listen, I didn't come here to exchange pleasantries with you. I came here to tell you a little story. Listen. Twenty-nine years ago, a sixteen-year-old girl made love to her supposed boyfriend and boom. She became pregnant. My whole life, my dreams, my aspiration were shattered right before my own eyes. And my father didn't help. His secondary school principal he became too ashamed. He couldn't stand the shame, so he sent me packing out of his house made me cut ties with every member of the family. What did I do? I ran to my supposed boyfriend who got me pregnant. None so denied the pregnancy and sent me into the streets. That killed the remaining love and respect that I have for that gender. I started roaming the streets of Port Harcourt. Lived under the bridges. Stayed outside in the cold with my little baby. I struggled. I did all the menial jobs you can think of. I hawked water in traffic. I hawked food. 
I did everything I could to put food on my table for my son and I. People, the world, drew stones of hatred towards me. But I picked those stones up and built this castle. Same castle you have come to destroy. Uh. Let me finish. Kosi Sochuku is my strength. He is the strength behind all these wars that I fought and won. He's my life, he's my world. I would do anything possible on earth to protect him from people like you. I will give him anything the world can offer to get the best life he deserves. You see why you cannot be my daughter-in-law? You don't fit in. Anyway, I am here to make you a mouth-watering offer that you shouldn't reject except if you're delusional. Let me have your account details. I'm about to transfer a hundred million naira to your account. That should solve your life problem. So take this money, pick up your kids, and run. Get very far away from my son. Cut all ties from him. Do you understand? No. I'm really sorry for everything you've been through. I must say you've raised a very fine man in Kosi Sochugo. Maybe I wouldn't choose me, but fate did. And I've come to, to love your son so much. He's not meant for your type. You mean you would leave your marriage for my son to feast on his innocence? Look, go make your findings. Ask questions. You have no idea of who you're dealing with. You don't know what I'm capable of. Like I said, it will be over my dead body that you'll be my daughter-in-law. Why? Does being a divorcee make me less of a woman? If I were to be a golden daughter, would you condemn me or deny me access to love? Every good woman fixes her home and not run away from it. Even at the detriment of my life? I did everything for this marriage to work. I went through constant abuses of psychologically, emotionally and verbal abuses. I did everything but it didn't work. I went through hell in the hands of that man. I walked out of the death trap. But if every human would judge me for that, so be it. There is no justification for divorce. Even the Bible said it. A woman should be humble, tolerant, submissive, and build her home. So if your first marriage didn't work, what is the possibility that the one you want to have with my son will? Would you be in the same marriage? Would you be in a life-threatening marriage that reduces you in every form? A marriage that abuses you psychologically, mentally, and emotionally? Would you be in the marriage just to, because of fear of stigmatization or rejection? Wow. Ah. They threw stones at you and you built this castle. Why can't I? Why can't I do the same? Why? I'm going to be in this house for a little longer. What? 
do you have your dirty legs in my couch? This is luxury couch. Do you know how much this couch costs? Oh, okay. I forgot your mother didn't teach you manners. Now get yourself up and get out. Go and do something else. Why do we have to leave? Well, because this is my house, young lady. No, this is our father's house and he said we are free to do whatever we want. Mom. That kid opened his mouth to say that this is his father's house. I don't understand. I'm the father they know now. And I don't regret playing that role in their lives. This is not happening. It is not happening. It's so happening, Mom. Then you have to move out of my house. Move out of your house. Indeed. Documents to the houses, the cars, and everything. I should be out of here with my family first thing in the morning. So you choose that strange woman and her children over me. After all I sacrificed for you, I gave up my entire life to make you. And this is what you do to me. You don't know this hurts me deeply. I'm broken, Mom! you give me so much and take it back why can't you see the love i have for that woman that you despise so much why she is my best so you don't even mind raising another man's children don't you know those children will rise against your own children in the future you're just endangering your entire life let me worry about that mom let me take the risk if it backfires then it's fine it's fine! Madam Good herself. Yeah? Hey, my in law. You're enjoying yourself. Oh. <laughs> Why did you call me? My in law. Your in law. God forbid that I'll be an in law to someone like you. Let me tell you something very quickly. If you think my son is going to end up with your daughter, <laughs> Madam Good, what exactly is your problem with our children's relationship? Is it that my daughter is not a woman? Or is it that she's not good enough? Okay. I'm going to tell you about your daughter. Your daughter is old enough to be called my mate. Because she's looking. Huh. Hmm? That expired, used goods you call a daughter with two children. 
is what you want to force on my golden boy. My son doesn't belong in your daughter's class. He belongs with the high and mighty and not paupers. I hope I made it clear. <laughs> and you think your son is better off than my daughter of inestimable value? The most beautiful girl in the world. Strong. And a wife material at that. What wife material exactly? What wife material? All your daughter is looking for is a man to help her raise the children she had in the other marriage. <laughs> and that's not going to happen. Hey! Make an no yo yo. Eh? Afu now. Asa. Tomato just. Look at her. Is it on her face? Mano. Look at the body size. Is that what you say? Is not Your daughter is a yo-yo compared to who? Look at my son. Just take a look of what I gave back to. Look at how <laughs> this is a piece of work. My son is a masterpiece. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> He's <laughs> obviously too old for my 29-year-old, in case you don't know how old he is. <laughs> this baggage is what you're going to give to my boy. This. <laughs> you are just wasting your time. Likewise, you yeah. are wasting your time. Look at love beds. Eh? Look at love beds. Yeah, yeah. Just stop trying now. So you're calling this love? <laughs> Poverty. Poverty is what you're calling love. Not only my roof. against the mother is evil. You're a pain to my very existence. And trust me, I will cost you more pain than hell itself. Mommy. Who's mom? Do not ever call me that. I am not your mother who failed to raise you. You pulled out my word and you have the guts to call me mom. Listen, you will never bear the golden name. Ever. I don't want you. What? Shut up! Talking. Who are you? Where did you come from? What do you know? Do you know the sacrifices I made, young lady? After all the sleepless nights, the, the, the cold nights, when one mocks me, when I had to carry my baby on my back to hop the streets. Where were you? Oh, for what exactly? To, to, to choose you over me? Never! It's never been happened. Ever! I'm sorry, man. I never wanted that to hurt you this much. All I wanted was to love and to be loved. I would never turn a child against his own mother. After all, I'm a mother too. I'm 
sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm tired. I thought I could do this. Because I thought I could do this. Mm. What has her mother done do again? This. What has she done again? Just let me know, please. Please. Let you go away. Cosy, please. You have to let me go. Please, I can't do this anymore, please. I will not be the reason between you and your mother's issues. Please, I beg you, let me go. Please. Yeah. What do you see about me that you cannot just let go? There are thousands of women out there who are ready to give in to you. Why do you choose me? What is so special about me? Everything, Laura. Everything. I love you. I choose every morning. I'll choose you at night. I choose you any day. I'll choose you any time. No, I love you. Stop this, please. That's what it is. No, we have to stop now. No. Because don't come close. Thomas, it is past 11 p.m. You call yourself a responsible man, but this is the time you're coming home. By the way, call who back? Oh, you started seeing another girl, right? <laughs> I said it. No wonder you come back home late these days. And you even reduced my allowance. Thomas, <laughs> uh, is that how to welcome your husband? Husband, my foot. A husband that cannot control the stick between his thighs is not a husband. Thomas, you better call that number right now. Yeah. Ara, Have you gone bonkers or something? I see. The same pattern you used on Laura. You think you can use it on me? I can never take it from you. Lie, lie, Thomas. You cheating bastard. Ouch! Oh my God. <laughs> Rubbish! Yeah. You spoke to me. Hey, chief. A titled one at that. You are leaving this house this night. <laughs> you are not serious. I will never leave this house. And the next time you slap me, Thomas, you won't leave to tell the story. Eh? I...
ready? Not wasting your time. They are gone. Mom, what have you done? What have you done again? To me. What? I want to we. You want to we? Driver, please just do a quick pack so that the way will be. How did you find me? I'm sorry, Mom, I snitched. I shared that occasion. She did! Laura, am I that bad that you didn't have to think twice before you left? I'm sorry. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. I'm like a shadow. I'll follow you everywhere you go. Anyway. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you too. So you're coming with me now, right? Well, you are coming with me. No, you are coming with me. No, you are coming with me. Hey, kids, come on, let's go home. I'm going to get you a Caribbean princess for your daughter in law. Let's hear be married. <laughs> She's 40 year old and single. That doesn't bother you? Who sets up a son against the mother is evil! You know, there's so much I've learned in this past few years. Good decisions come from experience, but experience come from bad decisions. That's life. So never regret, but learn from your mistakes and move on. Don't forget what you allow continues. I choose to break free and I found my true life partner. My name is Loretta Kosi Sochuku Goldens, and this is my story. Mm -hmm.